If you're building a new house, expanding your business, or need to change your electricity connection, we can help. It's easy to apply online. You can register with us at any time and fill out your application in one go. Alternatively, our systems will securely store your online form and you can complete it when you have all the information that you need. Standard house connections take around six months. Business connections are those that require putting up poles on other people's land or are likely to take longer. So you should factor this into your planning. Here are a few of the things that are worth considering before you apply. Before you apply online, there's a few things we need you to think about. Uh, first of all, it is your site address. If you haven't already obtained this, you can get this from your local post office or your local council. The next thing you need to think about is your correspondence address. Uh, we will communicate as much as possible by email, uh, but in the case of issue and legal documents, uh, we will require your correspondence address so we can send this by post. The third thing that we need you to do is to provide your grid coordinates. You can get this from your architectural drawings or within our mapping tool on the online application. The next thing that we require is your load details. This allows us to see how much electricity that you will require for your property. Most domestic premises are 18 kVA, but if you're going to install electric showers, ground source heat pumps, motors or welders, we, we need to know these details as you might need more capacity. Strongly recommend that you speak to your builder or electrician. There is also a link within the online application which allows you to send in the link to complete the details. We need to see some of the plans that you've agreed with your architect and builder so that we can properly tailor your connection. You can attach these electronically to the application. Your site location map will be provided by your architect, which will show us the location of your property in relation to other properties in the area. This is also likely to include your grid coordinates. This helps us to establish if we need to bring your electricity connection across other people's land. The site layout plan is the plan of your house and how it is situated on your site. Again, your architect should be able to provide this. We will also need to see where you wish to place your electricity meter. All electricity meters are now fitted outside the property. These will normally be at the front of the house as this is the closest point. We can also fit this at the side of your property within two meters of the front. We will work with you to determine the exact position of your electricity meter. We recommend that you don't install this until it is agreed. You should, however, check with your electrician and clearly mark on the site layout plan your preferred location. Site photos are not essential, but can be useful. If you have an existing electricity supply, please send us a picture of the meter board or meter box. You may have some specific information you need to tell us that isn't already included in your application form. For example, it's useful for us to know if you've already started your building work or if there'll be another house built nearby in the near future. Also, if your electricity supply requires poles or construction work on other people's land and you've already spoken to them about it, that's valuable information for us. We will start work on your quote for your electricity connection after we have your completed application form. It is really worth finding out all of this information in advance as it can prevent delays during the process. Remember, if you're having problems, you can always call us 9 to 5 Monday to Friday and we will be able to advise you on the type of information that we require and where you're likely to find it.